what excitement is building in Austria, particularly for Australia's Guy Sebastian, who's held his first rehearsals for Eurovision. <coughs> Excuse me, SBS Europe correspondent Brett Mason was in the thick of things to see how it's done. And he joins us now live from Vienna. Brett, what's the reaction been to Guy Sebastian's rehearsal? Janice, the only name on everybody's lips here in Vienna is Guy Sebastian, Australia's inaugural Eurovision entrant. And as we discovered, he has no shortage of European admirers. Leaving basic geography to one side, take a look at this. Yes, it's true, Australia really is competing in the Eurovision Song Contest. In fact, Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi. it's all the pink shoe and sequined headphone wearing glitterati were talking about at the opening ceremony. I think it's it's very exotic that uh, they are in today. And uh, yeah, Guy, uh, he has a great song. I really like the song leaving one very popular Australian, now available as a souvenir statue, trying to take it all in. At 195 million people or something, like I, my dream growing up was to sing at the carols by candlelight in Adelaide, you know. The Queen of Europe welcoming the man more and more tip is on track to become this year's king of the contest. Well, I'm very happy that we, that we actually managed it to have the Australians here in Austria. Despite battling mild fatigue, Guy Sebastian says Australia is on track for a Eurovision debut to remember. It's heaps nerve-wracking, like it, it's such a massive stage. At the start we threw everything at it, like the performance was so over the top. So we've scaled it back and made it a little less, uh, less intense. We'll be joined in Austria's arena by two other Australians. Mary Jean O'Doherty performing with Armenia's genealogy. I'm so proud of Australia this year. I'm so proud of Guy. It's amazing. It's amazing. And Katrina Norbergen, who co-wrote Russia's A Million Voices. I really ask myself a lot how I ended up here, but just writing a lot of songs and I, I managed to land a big one with Eurovision, so I'm just, it's really exciting. Of course, Eurovision isn't all about the performers, it's also about the fans, and plenty of them have made the trip from Australia here to Vienna. Yeah. This Aussie army of guy groupies enjoying Eurovision euphoria. My life is complete now. I had it made specifically for this event. I don't usually do dress up, so this is pretty important. Guy's got that, you know, groove about him. He's going to, you know, show that Australia is a multicultural place and um, he's going to bring something different and he's going to show the Europeans how to do Eurovision properly. Though is enjoying this adventure with his growing Australian and European fans. We can do tonight So more and more fans are arriving here in Vienna for the 60th Eurovision Song Contest. It will be the biggest performance of Guy Sebastian's career. There is no bigger stage, but can he win it? Well, Anton and Janice, the bookies and the fans certainly seem to think so. Oh, we'll be cheering for him from here, that's for sure. That's Brett Mason in Vienna.